Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and now in our video series on how to set up Orbitron for satellite tracking. I've shown you in the first video how to install it. Now I'm going to show you how to make sure that the satellites auto update and also set your own city and show you how to change the map from the default map. So you'll run Orbitron and you'll notice that you might have difficulty understanding at first how the satellite will be updated. What I would do is, when if it asks you to update the satellite, start by saying no and apply the changes I'm going to give you and then you'll see that it's actually going to work really well. So first of all, changing this map. I find this map rather ugly and there's a very beautiful map that you can have instead of this. Simply go on the upper right corner Normally where you'll click to close the window, it actually brings you a menu here. What you want to go is Setup. Now in the Setup you'll have Defaults, you'll have the Auto Detect for Local Time, and what you want to do is go on World Map first of all. I like Colored, and click Apply, and you'll see that this is a much more interesting map for the satellites. Go to the TLE update. TLE or Kepler data is the data that the program uses that to actually predict and know where satellites are at any time. Now these can be updated quite regularly. What I like to do first of all is make sure that at the top group silistrack.com all is selected. If it's not, go and select the all. Then go down, make sure you have a check mark at mark this group for auto update so that it updates everything. And finally, in the TLE expiry date and days, if you plan on using it quite regularly, I would say give it seven days. Make sure that every week you update your data, especially because of the International Space Station that really will be out of date after a month. For most satellites, 30 days is enough. It's really for the International Space Station that it's very important. So click Apply, click OK. First thing you'll want to do is update the TLEs now immediately. So you'll go back to that menu on the upper right corner and you'll click Auto Update TLE. And you'll see this happen. This should work. This is they're downloading all the elements of all the different satellites. Once it's done, you click the OK button and all the files are updated with the latest Kepler data or TLE, which is, TLE means two line elements. It's a general form of bringing us the information that we need to know when satellites are going to cross. And finally, last thing that we'll want to do is go down to location and make sure that you set your location. Now, there are several ways that you can do it. There's add to lists. if you live in a very small city and it's not in the list, you might want to add to list, search the uh, latitude and longitude of your area. You can also search it by grid locator if you're an amateur radio operator. So here I'll type Montreal and you'll see Montreal is here. And I'll click choose. This is now the default city and you'll see it appear on the map. So make sure that you're OK on the map from where you are at your location. If you do that, it's going to be fine and your satellite tracking is going to be perfect. It's very, very important. And once you do that, now you're all set up. In the next video, I'm going to actually tell you how to choose which lists of satellites depending on what you want to listen to. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, let us know. Hope you enjoyed this series on satellite tracking and listening to satellites on your radio. And the uh, series will continue with a few more videos on Orbitron.